Hi everybody, this is JP Panther 256 and I'm here to talk about uh, the Sony Venom the Sony Spider-Verse with Tom Holland. Um, will it be successful as the MCU? And this is just a quick, you know, discussion, you know, it's not it's just something that's on my mind I really want to talk to you to you guys about and just share. I do feel like the way, you know, them take you know, we talked about before how they took uh, Tom Holland out of the MCU and things like that. I do feel like di uh, Sony, I don't think it will be as successful as the MCU because the MCU had uh, 11 years, 23 movies build up. And they started it from beginning to end. The problem with Sony is that, you know, when they got Spider-Man, you know, Spider-Man 1 and 2 were good. Maybe Spider-Man 3 was garbage. And Andrew Garfield ones, I just thought, in my opinion, weren't really good. Venom, I thought was a media. I told you, Venom was a very mediocre movie, but I could still enjoy it as a popcorn flick. Spider Verse, I thought it was the best out of the. Uh, it's probably the best Spider Man movie out of all the Spider Man movies. But the problem is, is that I would rather have me as an African American, I ra or even me as an African American, I rather have an a, a live action Afro Latino Spider Man, not a cartoon. Because when you're doing a cartoon, it just feels very. It feels very safe and it feels very weak. See, I got my shirt on, Miles Morales. But I do feel like Spy uh, Sony's Spider-Verse, so Venom-Verse, whatever they're going to call it, right? Is that I think it, I think they'll try to get it organized. I just feel like there's too much there's too much studio interference, there's too much corporations, and there's just too much money into it. And I do feel like even if you have people who are creative, who I know how to handle and overlook their spider cinematic universe whatever it won't just do well i just don't feel like it will i just feel like you have too many corporate people and too many corporate executives will have too much studio interference like it was with uh, spider-man 3 and amazing spider-man 2 that's just how i truly feel i just don't feel like they have the patience or the tolerance to um be like the mcu because the mcu didn't if you look at phase one didn't really make a lot of money uh, I think Iron Man made like enough to be profitable. Captain America barely made money, but it was they just kept going. Thor, same thing as well. Incredible Hulk, I think that flopped or didn't do well. They just used him as a supporting character. And um, Iron Man 2 made money. And you know, of course, Avengers made money, but that's when you have a thousand heroes in one movie. Of course, it's going to make a bunch of money. You know what I mean? And it's something that people have never seen before. And the thing is, is that I think that mcu marvel just had more pay in mcu marvel slash disney they had more patience and tolerance for um to see the money coming they just ride out with the what was it it was a uh, whatever the plan was from beginning to end they just stuck with it and just kept going sony i just think they just want too much of this and the thing in my first opinion i just think that they looked at venom being like oh we made a bunch of money with venom a lot of it was china because in america it really didn't do it did okay it did good and it did okay but it didn't do what they expecting but um but china it made like 200 like 90 million i think it made like a million every day there or something like that somebody let me know in the comment section but venom they got lucky spider-verse as much as i like the movie it didn't really do well financially. It technically was a flop. And it won awards and Oscars and things like that. But again, if you're talking about making profits and making money, awards don't mean anything. That's just what it means. That's just what it's facts. It's all about the bottom dollar. It doesn't matter if you win a thousand awards. If you don't get the money, it doesn't mean anything. And I just think that Sony just doesn't have the patience to execute this Venomverse or Spider Sonyverse properly and tom holland says oh well everybody well uh sony i trust them and things like that and the thing is with tom holland is that let's be honest you were with kevin feige you were with disney you you were with people or even the russo brothers that actually knew what they were doing actually knew what they were doing at least when it came to your character and you as an actor but when it comes to sony i don't trust them with spider-verse i don't know why everyone's all excited like oh well venomverse you get to see venomverse uh uh, Venom vs. Spider-Man, Tom Holland vs. Tom Hardy, and I just think that would, I, I, I just don't think it would work, in my personal opinion, I just don't think the Spider-Man Sony universe would work, because if it did work, it would have, they would have done this a while back, not just do it when he gets super, super popular, and now we feel like you can do it. And the thing is, I think the way Sony thought with uh, Spider-Man, it's like, alright, he's super popular now, 
now we can just do what Marvel did with the MCU instead of, you know, having all these B, C, D list characters. We have the top tier character and everyone's going to go see uh, see our Spider Venom verse movies as long as we put Tom Holland Spider-Man in there. And I just don't think they're looking at it from a realistic um, fan point of view. They're looking at it from a business point of view. And if you look at how they did with Batman vs. Superman, Suicide Squad, Man of Steel, Justice League with Warner Brothers and DC, they just, they they didn't really, they, they did not build up the universe properly. They just threw in a bunch of people, put them in all together and expected to make a bunch of money. And that's what you got with Justice League and it was a financial disaster. And the same thing with Fox as well. You have all these characters, put them all together in one movie and expect everyone to get it. I just don't think Sony and the people at Sony are going to execute this properly. And hopefully they do. If it, if it does well, it does well. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I just don't think they have the patience and tolerance for it to be truly successful, make a lot of money, and where everybody would rock with it. Well, that's my opinion, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Let me know. Rate, like, video, uh, rate, like, and rate, like, and rate the video, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later, and have a great day, and that's it.